욕심이오니? 캡 앤 트레이드, then our next star saved. Good afternoon, fellow classmates and Mr. Resnick. My name is Sion Kin, and I come, come up here in front of this podium <coughs> to discuss about which policy will be fit as a tactic to alleviate the environmental problems that we face today. In today's debate, we define the key term cap and trade system as a system in which the government puts a limit to the amount of, a, of the amount of greenhouse gas that a company can emit. Under this system, companies will buy the right to emit greenhouse gases from the government, and they can sell sell and buy the, this, these rights to emit greenhouse gases if they if it's necessary. I will give a more in-depth explanation about this policy later in my speech. Now, for the sake of environment and humanity. This house will implement a cap and trade system. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever looked out the window and seen the Seoul skyline and noticed that it was so gray with smog? Smog aggravates your asthma, decreases your lungs' working capacity, and weakens your immune system, according to GTA <coughs> Clean Air Council. Considering the fact that an, an, active, hum I mean, an active auto inhales 10,000 to 20,000 liters of air each day, or seven to 14 liters, liters every minute, or to make it even more simple, one can of fresh mix every second, you will soon realize how long-term exposure to smog will be critical in one's health. But there's one thing you don't know. Principal ingredients in the formation of smog is nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide, gases that are emitted, astrono um, um, emitted, um, emitted in astronomical amounts in factories all over the world. Unfortunately, this is not it. When ni nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide react in the atmosphere with other ingredients like water and oxygen, um, ta-da, acid rain, <laughs> for the air. Acid rain, when it falls on the soil, deprives the soil of calcium, and this phenomenon led to a dramatic decrease in a, in a bird species called wood thrush, according to a recent study from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Greenhouse gases are ruining the ecosystem, obviously. Plus, an island called Tuvalu is on the verge of sinking into the ocean, all because of global warming. And what is most blamed for causing global warming? CO2, of course. This trio of greenhouse gases, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and carbon dioxide is killing, killing hum us humans and the environment. And it is clear that we desperately need a policy that will guarantee a reduction in these greenhouse gases, and or else, um, <laughs> um, so, we on the proposition side propose a cap and trade system. In a cap and trade system, we will first set a cap or a limit, um, deciding how much greenhouse gas emission to allow. Then we will distribute emission permits, or the right to emit a ton of greenhouse gas to companies. Here, the amount of gas, uh, here the amount of emission permits should match the cap, so that reduction reduction in greenhouse gas emission can be ensured. Also, we will distribute the emission permits by auction so that companies of different sizes will get emission permits, um, as permits just as much as they need. After distributing the emission permits, we will allow companies to trade their allowances or the amount of gas emission they were allocated so that companies that produce less greenhouse gas will, be, will benefit from their efficiency and the companies that produce more, more greenhouse gas will disbenefit from their inefficiency. No. <laughs> After making sure all these, we will enforce the cap, ensuring that affected businesses, businesses will file periodic reports verifying that they, ha they hold enough permits to cover their emission. Um, to make this procedure transparent, we will make a website that provides information about which company bought how much emission permits and the corresponding emission rate of the company. Um, we will reduce the cap on and on so that the, our goal of reducing greenhouse gas emission will be achieved. To, to make our policy most effective, efficient, and fair, we will make our policy comprehensive in smoke, scope, requiring all businesses to participate in this policy and covering all measurable emissions of greenhouse gases. Also, the cap and trade system will focus on upstream businesses, which means cap and trade should operate as high as possible in the supply chain. Moreover, with the revenue earned by auctions, we will subsidize vulnerable consumers, 
since corporations are bound to pass the burden of increased total cost to the c c consumers. I have explained the necessity and spe specifics of the cap and trade system. Our next speaker, Ha Sung Yang, will further elaborate on the benefits of benefits and practicality of our policy. Next in line, our last speaker, Kim Shi Han, will wrap up the debate, proving that our side of the house was dominant in today's debate. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember, greenhouse gases are killing the environment, and if the environment collapses, so do we humans. So cap and trade, then our necks are saved. Thank you. <laughs> Daniel, <you're in. laughs> okay, guys, the first pick up the outside. Let's give a warm up. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As the first speaker of the opposition team, first I'll rebut the opponent's policies, and then I'll explain and introduce our team's policy and arguments. After that, our sexy second speaker, Chung Lim, will explain further about our policy, and our third speaker, Kion, will sum up. Okay, so. First of all, I would like to thank you for I would like to thank the opponent side for the status quo. But what are the proposition trying to say? They mentioned something about the transparency about the website, but they did not say something specific. And also, they mainly talked about greenhouse gases. But for example, cows also <coughs> produce greenhouse gases such as methane when they exhale. So we would like to kind of focus on the carbon dioxide and. Also, they also said something about the auction, but in the auction, there could, there could be some manipulation. So, they talked about transparency, but their idea about the auction is kind of, kind of against the transparency. No, man. So, now, ladies and gentlemen, our time is running out. Why is our time running out? It is because the current situation, according to time, two, 2007 was the warmest year in the Arctic, which led to a record loss of sea ice, loss of sea ice. All the icy stuffs are melting. If they melt down continuously, lowland countries such as Malaysia may will, will submerge in the water in the future. That is why our time is running out. In today's debate, our team will prove that our policy is better than the proposition's policy in means of speed, transparency, and versatility. Now I'll, I'll introduce PCTP, which stands for Progressive Carbon Tax Plan. Our policy is an improvement of the cap and trade system since it is based on the cap and trade system because, uh, uh, since we also use the cap. So the government imposes taxes to companies. If the emission of the companies is lower than the cap, they do not need to pay any taxes. However, the reason why our policy is better is because as the government takes control, transparency is guaranteed because it becomes simple and straightforward. <coughs> also, the government can use the collected tax for other purposes such as saving the environment. Now, the PCTP shares the properties of the progressive tax. Many of you will know the progressive tax, which is called Dujinse. Income tax is a kind of the progressive tax. So, in a way, PCTP works as a carbon income tax. PCTP guarantees equality to every company. Then if the cap and standard is same for every company, how come large companies pay more? This is because the emission differs from companies. The objective of the cap and trade system is to reduce the emission bit by bit. However, the time is running out, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot wait until the cap and trade system is well established, established and perpetrated. So, Think about the iceberg <coughs> melting, ladies and gentlemen. PCTP can work in a less period than the cap and trade system because if your emission gets <coughs> far above <coughs> far above the cap, the tax also increases tremendously. So to sum up, PCTP is better than the cap and trade system in three aspects: speed, transparency, and versatility. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Yes. <laughs> How can it be versatile when you just focus on CO2? 
it, it, it's versatile because <laughs> on that point, our second speaker will. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, remember that our time is running out. points that were made by Daniel. Well, he pointed out that the transparency that we insisted is not um, proofs because we didn't elaborate on the point. And now I'll elaborate it by saying that through the internet, we will prove that the emission, we will prove the emission, account, emission rate and the trading route and the price of the emission, uh, emission um, um, wait, price, price of the permit and the will show that the, of that the option result, which will prove that we we are which will um, which will assert that our transparency is proved. And second, he said that um, that that it takes a long time to work this plan out. However, when considering that the limit that we set is really a limit that cannot be overloaded. P1? So, yes, sir? What is your limit? Our limit? Um, I cannot state a certain limit because I do not have the, all the information about the carbon emission rate. But I, <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys can state the certain limit that you guys inserted. inserted. Well, our, our limit the companies cannot go over the limit, but on the, uh, on the ideas of the opposition side, companies can go over the limit, which means that the environment is um, environment will be okay, yes, our side will can better assert that the environment will be improved. Ladies and gentlemen, as our first speaker, Xi'an, has already introduced, the Earth is suffering due to the pollution we've made. For now, what we really need is the law that can strictly limit the possible emission of pollutant. Cap and trace system effectively limits the amount and is certain that the overall emission rate would decrease. Now let me explain why this policy is beneficial. As Xi'an introduced, after the government allocates the permits to companies through auction, companies can trade the allowance if necessary. Companies that require much allowance will be able to gain it by buying it from the companies that does not need to emit that much. When this policy is implemented, <coughs> companies that emit much carbon will work on finding ways to reduce the emission amount, while the companies that do not need to emit that much would invest money in developing their own business which eventually would cut down the carbon emission rate. <laughs> a company can take <coughs> action to reduce its pollutant emissions below the designated level and make profit. Since this is a powerful market incentive that is more likely to cause companies to invest money in finding ways to reduce their pollutant emission, cap and trade system is highly beneficial. The practicality of the system has already been proved in many cases, many previous cases that implemented cap and trade system. Cap and trade was tested and was proven in the United States to be effective in lowering pollution through a program called Clean Air Act Admin. Admin. Oh. No, no, sir. A cap and trade system works cheaply and efficiently to reduce acid to rain pollution in the United States in the 1990s. In the 1990s, as a matter of fact, uh, the cap and trade system achieved 100 compliance in reducing sulfur dioxide emission. 
which is 7.3 million below the mandated level. Prior to the launch of the program, people didn't believe the practicality of this system since the cost estimates had ranged from 3 billion to 2.5 billion per year. However, after two years of the program, the cost turned out to be around 0.8 billion per year, far below the early projections. The market provides greater environmental effectiveness than the control regulation since they turn pollution reductions into the marketable assets. In doing so, this system creates tangible financial reward for the environmental performances. Not only this case, but other cases such as EU emission reduction and Chicago climate change can also prove the practicality of this policy. Ladies and gentlemen, idea of cap and trade system is not just a theory. Experiments have shown this fine result. Ladies and gentlemen, cap and trade system guarantee you that the emission rate would decrease. If you desire to save the earth and save yourselves, vote for our side. Cap and trade, then our hands are safe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so time for the next speaker. We'll have two floor speeches. Think about what you might say for one side or the other. Uh, okay, let's welcome now the second speaker from the side, Jay Young Hin. Time is running out. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the second speaker of the opposition side. And before I proceed, I will make some rebuttals about the points made by the proposition side, and I will go on to our side's points about our alternative policy. Okay. The, pro the proposition side mentioned that they are going to set the price by um, ha by having auctions, but um, these auctions can always lead to some fraud fraud events. By companies can like make prior plans between the between companies themselves before the auction, <coughs> and they can always lo lower the cost significantly by their prior plans. And how are the proposition team going to do about these frauds? And also, um, they mentioned that they are going to um, assure transparency by the website. And aren't there always possibilities of putting on false information on their website? And how are they going to do about this point? And they also mentioned that EU had used the cap and trade system. And EU has the history of being caught while they were um, allocating carbon credits to um, to to the EU countries as much as they want, so they didn't um they didn't uh, fit. Uh, they were allocating carbon credits as much as they want to companies, and that really didn't work out for the cap and trade. So <laughs> and now I will proceed on to our team's points. As our first speaker had mentioned briefly, our team's alternative is to set a cap on the amount of carbon allowed to emit, and instead of trading, the companies that exceed <coughs> the limited amount has to pay a tax that increases the progressive <coughs> scale. Our policy is far more necessary, practical, and beneficial than the proposition policy in the aspect that it covers up the fatal flaws that exist in the carbon tax, is, is, exist in the cap and trade system by the simple application <coughs> process and the increased transparency. And also, our policy can create extra funds that can be used for other environmental projects. So first, our policy can be implemented immediately. As our first speaker had already mentioned, the biggest problem in the cap and trade system is that it takes too much time until the policy can be established. There are so many little complex issues to be negotiated before the cap and trade system can be actually implemented. And we do not have the luxury of waiting for all those little issues to be resolved while our climate is being destroyed by every second, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in contrast, our policy can be adopted right away, quickly and fairly, because it only imposes tax on the company that exceeded the limit, and no other lengthy negotiations are necessary. 
The tax is constant and predictable, and it doesn't require a creation of a new energy trading market that is necessary for the cap and trade system. Secondly, our policy ensures transparency of the system. Cap and trade systems unreliable process of allocating carbon credits is another big loophole of the system. In the cap and trade system, governments can co governments have the incentive to offer their countries with more carbon credits than they should be actually giving to them. And there and as I already mentioned, there is, a, there is a famous incident of EU's cap and trade system where EU governments were caught while distributing more carbon credits than they should be actually giving. Um, also, the system's complexity makes it easier for the com companies to cheat easily without getting caught, and it all so, and it can also encourage lobbying politicians for support. However, our simple and straightforward policy is much harder to manipulate by special interests, and it can be easily understood by the general public. And finally, our policy can create extra funds. Governments can use this cash to support other environmentally friendly projects. This is similar to the use of cigarette tax um, to support non-smoking campaigns, which is already um, widely applied around the world. And um, this additional cash can also be used in reducing other taxes, which can cut the economic burdens of carbon abatement. This will be effective in lessening people's dissatisfaction about the need to pay additional tax by reducing because by reducing other taxes their total payment of tax will remain the same. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, again <coughs> our time is running out. We cannot waste our precious time in negotiating for a meeting both sides special interest. If we um, we have to act fast. If you really care about the environment, please vote for the opposition side. Okay, four speakers. Have you spoken this semester? tax system and it was she said that companies could have false information in their website or the information they need <laughs> a false in in the cap and trade system but I see a flaw and a contradiction in this because the opposition's argument alternative is also about taxing and if the companies are showing wrong information in their websites how are they going to assure how, how are they going to be assured in the fact that they're going to be tax right and not only that they talked about Taxing, how they talked about the fact that taxes can be taxed immediately, but this also isn't really true because do they really have an exact standard or they talked about negotiations, but can they really negotiate with the companies immediately about these taxes? They could change the company's financial situation. And so in these two points, I kind of saw contradiction in the arguments. And also one of the things that I observed was that the opposition was often using assumptions, analogies, and not exact numbers. <coughs> and they weren't really giving exact statistics or examples that could support their arguments. So in those points, I thought the proposition was pretty this thing. Okay, thank you, sir. On both sides, um, told us that they should um, reduce the carbon dioxide, but the the prof side didn't didn't tell how the trade can benefit that policy. They only um, 
said that the situation needs to uh, the situation needs the decrease of carbon dioxide, but he didn't explain how it is transparent and how the trade can um, benefit uh, practical practically benefit that uh, that situation. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's now welcome the last speaker for the opposition. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what, I, uh, what I'm trying to emphasize is that we are all in three properties, we are both more superior than the cap and trade system. First, in speed, what, uh, the, pro the, pro the progressive carbon tax policy or the, P or, <coughs> uh, or the PC, uh, uh, TP is, how can I say, much more simpler because we, the government is in, control, uh, is in control of the cap and then it can both lower or raise it <coughs> Uh, as, it, as the circumstance is needed. But on the other hand, the cap and trade system is governed by the market system, and therefore uh, its prices will go up and down and is unpredictable. It's the same as our, uh, as our in Korean, the Pyeongdong Hwan Yer Jero. So in truth, you cannot actually plan ahead of the situation. So uh, in, in, this, in this term, in, we are much in both speed and in versatility because also, uh, uh, as we can say in the cap, uh, we can also both lower and lower and raise the cap uh, cap of of our policy. We can also use the taxes uh, taxes gained gained from the policy, uh, in so we can be used in other like uh, environmental plans such as uh, new ethanol fuel or new new types of props or etc. Also, they said. Uh, they said they had a limit or a plan, something like that. But uh, but on my uh, first and also like last POI, they said that there was a limit or a goal, something. But they weren't quite sure of the circumstances. But people, tell me, what is the use of a plan which has no limit or no goal? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me that what is your limit, your size limit? Our limit is, as you can say, on. First, we are going to first set the cap first. And That's what we're inventing, and you ask, ask and for the also, actual. Ah. <laughs> and also. So, what our, our goal is first, we're going to implement the cap and trade system uh, in, in forms of the cap. We're going to. Um, Set, uh, set, it, uh, set the cap and then lower it and lower it and lower it as the years go, but uh, but we are also going to raise uh, raise the progressive tax after so after the emissions which are above the cap. So we are going to further limit uh, uh, limit the incentives of uh, of carbon emission. P O I. Yes. Um, you say you have a limit and stuff, but you don't have a really set limit. If you, I mean, if the companies exceed the limit, they just have to, they just have to pay the tax and it's over. <coughs> but then we'll help me explain this. If you auction the permits, then big com companies can like monopolize the permits. You know, buy and buy all of them. And what are we going to do about that? They can just spend all you know just spend all the gas they want because they bought all the permits together. Ladies and gentlemen, time is running out. Uh, as Daniel said before, there, uh, all the icebergs are melting. According to uh, the 2007 Time Edition, Greenland, <laughs> Greenland is, is melting far more heavily than it has been 10 years ago. Uh, and also, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as Yu Won Young said at the, the floor speech, uh, he said that we were not going to be in control like the whip and our, our own system is both is unreliable, but the government is, itself is in control of the tax. Why would the government itself try to cheat itself up? Ladies and gentlemen, we do not have much time. At the cap and trade system might seem entice, enticing. We can just put it on, just let the uh, market just guide ourselves, just guide our moves, and then 
voila, it seems like that as we're going to, it's going to all end. But ladies and gentlemen, there are many uh, types of, uh, there are many types of problems that profit-centered policies could, uh, uh, could cause. A gov the government will be controlling our policy and therefore it will become more responsible of, it, uh, of what it's going to do. Because, as I said, why would the government try to cheat itself? Ladies and gentlemen, time is running out and therefore, uh, for time, uh, therefore, because uh, we can implement this plan much more faster, you should uh, choose. Uh, you, you should choose and uh, choose for the opposite side. Thank you. Okay, now the proposition team has the opportunity to get the last word. Let's welcome Mr. Kim Shi-Yun. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, today as the third speaker of the proposition side and the last speaker of today's debate, I stand up here to show you once again how poorly, illogically, and powerlessly the opposition side has presented their policy, and I'll make you, under I'll make you understand how we ruled, conquered, and dom dominated in today's debate. As the last speaker of today's debate, uh, I'll first present you today's debate's flow and go over our policies, policy once more and declare, uh, declare how we dominated today's debate by stating the opposition's flaw, flawed argument. Uh, first, uh, our first speaker, Xi'an, successfully, successfully explained the current, current level of air, air pollution and the cause of it by giving the evidence about the status quo of pollution and then presented our solution by emphasizing the necessity of our policy. Policy, In our policy, again, like Xi'an said, the government distribu distributes the emission permits to companies. Since the government sets the cap or the limit, limit of the whole amount of greenhouse gas emission, the emission will be kept, kept stable. And because we have limits and they do not have a set limit because they are using the carbon tax system, we can, we can like, with the limit, we can decrease um, year by year, but they don't have since they don't have the real limit. Um, uh, their their uh, the company's gas emission can be limitless and just go up and up. No, thank you. And the companies in in text uh, cap and trade system themselves treat the permits with other companies to find the most efficient point of production by enforcing the cap 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 and trade year by year. Uh, our goal of reducing greenhouse gas will, greenhouse gas emission will be successfully reached. Uh, no, thank you. Our next wonderful speaker, Sinyan, also presented the benefit and quality of our, our policy. Furthermore, she said cap and trade system is beneficial because the limited, uh, limited possible emission amount gives incentive to companies to create create the skill, a uh, production skill that emits. Greenhouse gets lower, lower. We, also, we can understand our cap and trade system is practical when studying the historical. Thank you. No, thank you. When studying the recent history that already proved the practicality of cap and trade system, like she said, U.S. cap and trade system in the 1990s re reduced the reduced significant amount of sulfur dioxide, which is one of the critical emission uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Like these, our team succeeded in supporting our policy through necessity, benefit, and practicality. However, the opposition side's alternate policy failed to. Yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> How are you going to um, estimate the amount of greenhouse gases that are emitted randomly? Like, for example, as you mentioned, from the breast of cows. There are many random um, incidents of emitting greenhouse gases, and how are you going to measure all of them? But how are you going to measure them? You 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 so don't have are, limit, and your kid. We are just focusing your kid asking our limit, and you don't you 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 guys don't have limit yourself. I don't get your point. <laughs> and the opposition side, opposition side keep claiming their their policy can be can solve the pollution quickly, and their their policy is unsophisticated, but. Their policy, no, out of order, doesn't really reduce the emission amount. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though, <laughs> even though, 
even though uh, they they say that they will tax the companies higher when the the companies go over the cap, companies will be keep producing as long as they earn profit, uh, regardless to the amount of tax they pay when they go over the limit. There is a limit to the policy while we have a limit from capping the amount of carbon em uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, and they also kept claiming that EU case was a failure because of uh, many government frauds. But if we, our policy, uh, one of our policy's main arguments is that we solve this pro pro problem of pollution by having an auction system. So with, with auction system, such failure will not happen again. Okay, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, cap, cap and trade in our next Thursday. Please move for our professional side. Thank you.